Hello and a warm welcome to this special Olympics edition speaking to Indian hockey Olympic medalists. In fact, till 1964, India had dominated in Olympics hockey, winning two hat-trick gold. You heard it right. India had won gold in six Olympics. There was a break after that and the last time India had won a gold was in the 1980 Moscow Olympics. The team is yet to win a gold after that. We are privileged to have with us, to my extreme right is Mr. Vasudevan Bhaskaran, the captain who led the Indian team to win a gold in the 1980 Moscow Olympics. To his left is Mr. Munir Syed. He won a bronze in the 1968 Olympics at Mexico City. And to my immediate right is Mr. Charles Cornelius, who won a bronze in the 1972 Munich Olympics. It's a privilege to have you with us this evening. If I can begin with you, Mr. Baskaran, you led the Indian team to win a gold in Olympics hockey in 1980. Can you take us back? What happened when you landed in India with gold in your hand? So I think when, as usual, when we come to India, especially we land in Delhi, mm -hmm. it is it is the same as what we see in cricket team. Same Bangra, same, you know, everything is the same what we saw about 30, 40 years back. Only thing, more numbers now. Right. And uh, uh, that, that time, there were more fans because people, you know, we used to have, it was not the same like, you know, Indra Gandhi airport, it's slightly a smaller airport. So I think these are the issues that where uh, the, as things changes, the fans become more, the people st uh, start seeing the team which winning. I mean, that's more important for the fans and the families. So I think when he landed, the hockey was again revived because say, for example, if he had not won the medal there, I think I, I'm, I'm afraid that Rocky would not have been survived in the next future. And later on, we got back M.M. Ram Swami there. And then we started moving for, forward to take Indian hockey forward. And he did a good job in having an India-Pakistan test series, you know, coming back to India, sending the Indian team to Champions Trophy. I think all this is an, you know, uh, good comeback for Indian hockey team after winning the goal at Moscow. You were a standby player initially and you persevered and made sure you were part of the Olympics team. How was the selection at that time? It was very tough to get into the Indian team those days. As a matter of fact, there were so many players, each one better than the other. And then to get selected, you really have to put up, you really have to put a very good performance and um, to get yourself selected because the first priority was Punjab, the next was those from the railways or from the airlines and the last came the south, southern part. So in my case, <coughs> I, mu I would say, I must say, I went for the camp for 19, for the 60 Olympics to Rome, for, I was a standby. I went for the Asian Games, to, again for the Bangkok Asian Games in 62, I was a standby. In 64, again for the Tokyo Olympics, I was a standby. In 66, Again, I went to Patiala or other Jalandhar and stand by. And 67, for the first time, I said, I again called to the camp to Jalandhar and I made a decision not to go. I said, I've had enough. I'm going to retire, announce my retirement. Then my ambition, my, my eye was on the Olympics for the 1968 Olympics. I thought this will be the last chance. So 68 Olympics, again, we were in Patiala, and, uh, we were in, uh, Patiala for a one-month camp. There were 65 to 70 players. It got the, then they reduced the size after one month to 30 or 20, 30 or 35 players. Mm -hmm. The team moved to Jalandhar, and there again it was last one full month of grueling training, the last three days of trials, and I got selected, and my ambition was fulfilled. Mr. Cornelius, is it true when you landed with a bronze, you were shy to display it? You actually were hiding it because in Punjab they don't honor anything but gold. Yes, you know Punjab they have. All gold medalist, a village called Sansarpur and Jalandhar. They are were, they were very good hockey players. Mm -hmm. Almost all the villagers are good hockey players. And around about 25 Olympians with gold were right. there. So they don't respect anyone who <laughs> brings a bronze and silver. So we had a very bad time, though we brought the bronze medal. Uh, Mr. Baskaran, those years there was no Indian Olympics <coughs> Association. Uh, Mr. Sam Maneksha, the field marshal, he had actually chosen you as the captain. Tell us the story behind. Well, I think the camp was held in, first time I would say that it was held in Bangalore, but uh, I have to say that school without 
a blackboard. Yeah. Indian players were without an offset of. You know, he used to come at least once in a week. He was based in Kaimato. He used to come once in a week, you know, see the boys, eat with the boys. And uh, uh, I never expected to be a captain, honestly speaking, though I was senior. But, you know, then, you know, the culture was different that, you know, I had to go for interview. First time I am going across and a captain, normally in Indian team, it would be a senior most. Okay, but this time I had to go for interview uh, like, you know, any other, you know, corporate. So I was asked to do this and uh, Sam said, okay, go ahead. Today I am making a captain. Does it need one shot? What did, he what did he try to test from you? He tested and how, how, how will he communicate? You are from Chennai, you are from Madras. How will he come? So I said, I've been playing. I know you're a senior, but how well you can travel with the team? Because that's very important because youth have to be taken along with me. And uh, I said I had a lot of confidence because most of the boys, uh, I've been moving with them for three months. I used to you know, talk to them that, yes, we can make a good good team. Because we had some walkout in the team. Like Surjit Singh walked out. Ashok Kumar walked out of the camp because of, you know. Were you they, under pressure at that time? Not pressure. No, I did I did enjoy my captainship. I never had any, any pressure because my coach is a fantastic man, uh, Balkrishna Singh. He was a man who was coach, he has coach, coached me when I was 17 years old for the Kamanyo right. team, went to Australia. So I think I had a lot of uh, space to talk and a lot of space to, you know, move with the boys. That, that's the advantage I had. Mr. Muller, you had two captains at that time. Uh, did that help or was it a kind of a spoiled sport? That was a disaster, one word, because it was it was in Lovedale in Nilgiris. We had the Camp 68 camp, <coughs> mainly to acclimatize to the conditions of, of uh, Mexico and our attitude of Nilgiris OT was 6,000, same as Mexico. Everything was going well. The camp was very going very well. We were all enjoying, we were really training hard. But the, after the one month grueling camp, they announced Captain as Pitipal Singh as captain and Balkishan Singh as coach. The manager was already announced, General Mehra. So, unfortunately, Gurbak Singh uh, was another good player, and he went up in arms and said, I will not play, I'm going back unless I'm made the captain. So this uh, the uh, decision, a wrong decision was made by the then president and uh, and, uh, and passed to be who, who, who came the next day who, to, who came next day and found there was commotion in the in the in the in the campus and the blunder they made was they said okay you be the joint captain never uh, in any sport have there been two captains of one team so our loss. Indian Hockey Federation loss was, Indian Hockey team's loss was was laid in OT mm -hmm. when the two joint captains and uh, thereafter the team split into two, uh, split into, it's a long history, I just want to cut it short, split, team split in two and till we landed in Mexico and after landing in Mexico there was infighting and the players were going out of control and uh, it was only due to the, and the very first match in New Zealand we lost and they were, and the fact that we were able to get the bronze is because of the caliber of each and every player. So that that went a long way. Each player on his own was very good. But as a team, we were disjointed. But we are lucky we at least got the bronze. But I am unlucky that we didn't get the gold. That's my that's my regret, which I, will, which I cannot forget. Suffered a leg injury, unfortunately. That actually, in a sense, uh, came as a setback to your sporting career. It was sort of a gangrene. So when they took me to another doctor in Chandigarh or India, Institute of Science, they, they examined and told that by injections has to be given in the operation theatre. Knee joint of injection can't be in a dispensary. You have to take in the patient to the operation theatre with covering face guard and gloves and everything then only it has to be injected it has to be shaved first it should be put some medicine make it numb and then inject it it can't be a that was a lapse that was a lapse so uh, after that i couldn't even be able to walk all of you have participated in many olympics you always cherished b besides playing hockey meeting many sporting legends uh, at the olympics who all have you met 
Well, I think my passion is all about sports because uh, my school, I played about uh, eight to nine games. And uh, at the universities, I was playing three university for the Madras Blues. The sense, I represented uh, hockey, athletics and uh, tennis in Loyola. So I think that made me, you know, to move, move faster on uh, other games. Um, uh, I had met um, Pete Sampras, Ivan Lendl in tennis. I bumped into Mohamed Ali in the Sydney Olympics. And uh, I bumped into Djokovic in 2012. Mm-hmm. And I bumped into uh, Sanchez from Spain. So I think these are the things what we enjoy in the village, you know. It's, um, I would say, we can't buy anything, but uh, we can meet the people that are rich, much richer in sports. India, Atlanta, when Leander Pace won bronze medal, myself and uh, Raja Balanar Singh were only two people who were cheering up for him. So I think these are things which, you know, keep in a memory that, you know, and I, I keep going to Olympics on my own sometime through railways and also I'll be also going for this Paris 2024 just to see what's, what's the Indian team is doing. It's not that to go and criticize all this thing, but you know, enjoying the game, other sport, you know, it's also a part of the life. And uh, you know, God has given me enough. I think uh, there is no grudge on that. So I think I'm content in what I'm doing. What was the prize money when you landed with the gold in India and at the Olympics in Moscow? No, prize money was nothing. The, the most important thing is the pride you wear, the honor of having the gold medal on top of your neck, and you make your country flag flying. That has got no money value. Even only this two or three Olympics, the US is giving about you know seventy five thousand dollars for winner or uh, something. And Indian government are financially helping all the current medal winners goes into three crores or five crores or around the highest paid. So I think uh, financially now, the commercially now, everything is best when what we are doing. But I think nevertheless we enjoyed everything. I mean, don't can't go and grumble that. I didn't get anything, but we got to play for India. What do you think are the prospects for Indian hockey team in this Olympics? Well, I think when you didn't expect anything in 2021, uh, they won a bronze. Uh, they really beat Germany in the last uh, uh, third and fourth place. Uh, in fact, Germany was the oldest and um, uh, India could beat them. And uh, this time, uh, around the world, you know, the Indian hockey team is well regarded as the best team. And uh, I would say... the is well prepared team. The best prepared team in the world is Indian hockey team. They went to Europe for uh, 20 days, they went to England for 10 days, they went to South Africa. I mean, all, almost uh, um, no other team in the world could have got this exposure. And, uh, you know, when you win, like for example, I always take an example of PV Sindhu. Okay, when she won a medal, the entire Hyderabad became a badminton nub. Now, entire India has become badminton nub. Every street you see badminton is being played. So that has to come back through victory. So that has already come back through Indian hockey team. The juniors have done very well. The girls team have done very well because of that too. So I think we need to, you know, get this rhythm going up. And uh, maybe we are always the one, two, three, four, five, like in any European country. So winning alone is not the question of at the Olympics. But to me, one, two is very important. And the Olympics is winning a total of seven medals. In a nutshell, what should be the roadmap in terms of improving our position? In my opinion, the roadmap should be to encourage hockey at school level. If you don't lay the foundation, you're, not, you're going to get players only at the sporadic, in a sporadic way because even in a country, even in a state like Punjab, the, the hockey players are dwindled. Hockey is not being played that much. And, uh, and places like Tamil Nadu, Bombay, Karnataka, Hyderabad, Calcutta, mm-hmm. big cities, Bhopal, the hockey is not being played at all. Mm-hmm. There are no tournaments. I have played like basketball, went for 5,000 t- places. I have also been to a lot of places, a lot of tournaments all over India and mind you to pack stands. Right. Today, hockey is not attracting crowds. That is again I mentioned earlier because synthetic surface, the game has changed. but. To promote this game, to bring this game back to where it stood for the seven Olympic golds that we have won, we have to start laying the foundation. Mm-hmm. And I think the government is doing a good job by encouraging sports. But they should they should spend more t- more time in promoting hockey. 
because this is this they call a national game but national game is where we are only struggling celebration but it should be a continuation of promoting the game till the next olympics for next for the next world cup so that hockey is not dead in this country so is cricket largely responsible for the decline of hockey in india i don't comment on that because okay cricket is a everybody's game the people like cricket i don't know why how do we develop the same passion once hockey enjoyed among spectators among the public uh, see the hockey tournaments should be more right lot of tournaments should be there when money said baskaran and me we played a lot of domestic hockey right. we used to play a lot of hockey in india it was very difficult right. to play indian hockey baskaran will definitely agree with me if you enter railway playing they're scared of playing into railway as baskaran it's very tough to play into railway Interpolis was very tough. Gold Cup, Aga Khan Cup, Baton Cup, Abdullah Cup. In Madras also there was MCC Cup, Murugappa Cup. So there were a lot of tournaments were there. Now we're all gone. Right. Only one national hockey, which is called Rangasamy Cup, right. was there. All performance is noted only from the Rangasamy Cup. No we have that also gone many politicians lead sports bodies across india is that good bad do politicians or do sports persons make good administrators see for example pt usha is not a he is now an iwa but she is also a politician because she is also a member of parliament so you can't tell that to get away from iwa or you know through sports she became mp but the main issue is that with the ongoing improvement in other countries competitiveness is very important so we need a ceo who largely should be a sports administrator who knows about the sport what is ceo mm -hmm. we 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 see a lot of you know in football in hockey in different game we have a ceo who are like a managers ceo should be able to outline the importance of all, all the players you know what is ceo ceo of a company you knows each and everything of the nonsense why my finance is low why i am not able to have the target so that is ceo so we need to see i don't mind having a president some minister or secretary somebody but a ceo is a man who promote the game at least 30 states who have an olympic association does not have olympian does not have a Olympian even as a member. Now, why do you call uh, Olympic Association? Why people like Narendra Modi could have continued? Why he didn't continue? He left everything and went because of some youth is following and Infosys is doing very well. Not that because of minus Narendra Modi, the company is closed. No, so I think we need to have that policy in sports too. Then you know you see cricket. Why you now you are asking about cricket? Cricket is flourishing because of the good administrators from all the states. is the country able to tap or identify talent from rural areas to be able to send them to the olympics honestly as far as i know in the south we don't have that trying the finding the potential there are hardly any tournaments one line message from me yes we wish them uh, a good result because uh, playing olympic is not that easy they have to work very hard every competition from the beginning is like a final if they do it that and every step they the the perform pro properly because every day's performance is more important i'm very much sure that the last time they won seven medals and this time they have definitely they're going to win more medals as already mentioned earlier in my opinion the team is very fit i can only wish them good luck and little bit of luck they should be on the podium Thank you very much gentlemen it was a privilege speaking to you and uh, you're such an inspiration India had won a bronze in the Tokyo Olympics in 2020 hockey and hockey lovers across the country would be rooting this time for a gold